Hello again everyone, Edwin Learn back once again in this YouTube NFL prediction segment. I'm going to be giving you my uh, picks and analysis uh, for the 2019 Week 6 NFL season. Uh, anyway, first thing up is um, I'm going to take uh, New England at home over the New York Giants. I mean, this doesn't require uh, overabundance of uh, analysis. And, New England right now is, is playing basically uh, flawless football. They're plus seven turnover differential there. They have 11 defensive interceptions. They're only allowing um, under a touchdown a game. The Giants right now, they look like they're starting to plummet to earth. They did not play well last week. They scored 10 points total. Uh, they allowed, they're allowing 25 points per game, and they're also uh, being a short week, uh, having to go on the road playing against a uh, seemingly the least near uh, invincible New England team. Uh, it just doesn't bode well. The Giants are four and six on the road since 2018, so I'm going to take the Patriots at home. Now the next game, I'm going to take Carolina on the road to uh, defeat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, Tampa and Carolina starting to get their swagger now. They've won three consecutive games. They got 20 defensive sacks. They got Luke Kuechly. They have really uh, some very good players on the on the team right now. Their running back is leading the NFL in rushing. They're averaging uh, nearly 26 points per game now. Tampa Bay has not looked bad in the last. Uh, I mean, three games, I mean, and the team is averaging nearly 30 points per game, but they're, they're dead last in passing yards allowed per game. I think this is going to be a, a key for Carolina. I think Carolina is going to have a lot of passing yards, a lot of sustained drives. I see them putting a lot of points up against Tampa Bay. I think the defense is what's going to do uh, Tampa Bay in this game, so I'm going to take Carolina on the road. Now, this game, um, next game, I'm going to take Seattle on the road to defeat the Cleveland Browns. Uh, Seattle right now, I mean, they're playing lights out. Uh, Cleveland's a kind of up-and-down team. They haven't met their uh, expectations. Uh, Cleveland seems to have a star-studded cast on the team, including Odo Beckham Jr. And, uh, I mean, they have they have these players that seem like they should, uh, they, which really... Uh, should be playing, you know, where, where they're playing lights out and getting uh, getting this team to, uh, you know, a higher level in terms of being an upper echelon team, but it just, it, it doesn't seem like, you know, where the, where the talent, this abundance of talent is manifesting into wins and success on the playing field. Seattle is uh, allowing just like 80 uh, rushing yards per game. Their run defense is awesome. But the thing about it is this Cleveland has some hope because Seattle has lost three of the last four at Cleveland. Uh, Cleveland, I mean, you're looking right now, though, Seattle is the number one red zone uh, touchdown offense in this game. So Seattle can just have deep drives and they get into Cleveland's red zone. I expect them to do it a number of times or they should have some success. Cleveland's red zone defense as far as touchdown percentage is one of the worst in the league. I like Seattle on the road. Now the next game, I expect uh, Kansas City uh, to win at home over Houston and Kansas City. Uh, they they were they don't lose consecutive games often. I think last week was a complete aberration and fluke losing to uh, the Colts. Kansas City is eight and two. Um, at home since 2018. They're the number one uh, passing team in the league in terms of passing yards per game. Kansas City only scored 13 points last week. I mean, the offense was important. I was really shocked uh, as far as that outcome goes. But looking at uh, Houston, they did put up 53 points last week, 592 yards. Uh, they but, but by doing so expended a lot of energy. Now they got to go on the road to Kansas City and playing an incensed Kansas City team that really uh, wants to redeem themselves. Uh, Houston has been sacked 18 times this season. I expect the front line of Kansas City to get to Houston the quarterback often. I like Kansas City at home. Now the next game, I'm going to take the Washington Redskins to win on the road against the Miami Dolphins. I mean, this is the classic a toilet bowl matchup. These two teams' offenses are anemic, to say the least. Washington is in disarray, terminating their head coach. They're 0-5. The Dolphins have no wins as well. But Washington can score a little more than Miami. And uh, 
Miami may very well be tanking. Washington is averaging about 15 points per game. Miami is averaging just six and a half. And Miami is also allowing nearly 41 points per game and has a minus seven turnover differential. And they're also number 32 in passing yards per game. So this game is a classic toss-up battle of they might be the two worst teams in the NFL. I'm going to take Washington because they're just a little less worse than Miami right now. Next game, I'm going to take the Philadelphia Eagles to win on the road reluctantly. Anyway, over uh, Minnesota, Philadelphia is one of the, it seems to be playing very well right now. I think they found some synchronicity in the offense. Minnesota, they had a good game last week, but that was against the Giants. And I don't know what's really going to happen. Minnesota is very unpredictable. I'm not sold on Cousin, Kirk Cousins yet um, in terms of his consistency. Him and Zealand seem to find found some cohesion on the offensive end last week, but we'll see if it continues this week. Now, Minnesota, their defense is, is phenomenal. They're like number four in scoring defense, allowing 14.6 points per game. They have a very good running back in Dalvin Cook. They need to get him the ball more, and I think that could augment their chances of winning. But I think Philadelphia right now, with their scoring and their passing game, I think it's going to just be a little stronger than Minnesota's secondary uh, Philadelphia is averaging about 28 points per game. Their offense is, is cooking. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Philadelphia has scored at least 20 points in all the games they played this season. And I think they're going to get that at least that amount in this one. I expect them to win the game. So I'm going to take the Eagles on the road. Now the next game, I'm going to take the New Orleans Saints to win on the road against the Jacksonville Jaguars. I like what New Orleans is doing right now with touchdown Teddy uh, Bridgewater. They're 3-0 and with uh, Bridgewater at quarterback. They got Michael Thomas, number one in receiving yards right now. Jacksonville has played well in the last three games. Don't get me wrong. But the two uh, two of their wins have come against sub-500 teams now. they got to go against the Saints, who are playing lights out. I just don't think they're going to get it done. I like New Orleans to win in a close one on the road. Now, the next game. We'll take the Baltimore Ravens to win at home over the Cincinnati Bengals. Now the Baltimore Ravens, I talk about them having the ravenous defense, but uh, their offense is really what's very stellar right now. They're number one in rushing yards per game. They're averaging 32.2 points per game, and they're 7-3 and three at home since 2018. Number one in time of possession. I think they're going to dominate the time possession in this game and should win. Cincinnati has lost like eight straight since last season. I mean, they are just pit Cincinnati just pitiful. They couldn't even beat Arizona when they were home last week. They're averaging just 16 points per game. Uh, Cincinnati is two and nine on the road since 2018, and they're also number 31 in rushing yards allowed per game. They're just it's there's too many things going against Cincy right now. I like Baltimore to take this one at home. Now the next game, I'm going to take the Rams at home to defeat the San Francisco 49ers. Though reluctantly, I mean San Francisco is playing nearly uh, flawless football. They're two and zero oh on the road. They're averaging nearly 32 points per game. Their defense has been spectacular. Uh, right now, they're one of the better uh, scoring defenses in the NFL. Cornerback Richard Sherman, he seems to be playing uh, very well. This team has a lot of swagger right now on the offense and defensive, and they are 4-0. Uh, San Francisco also, I mean, looking at the Rams, the Rams had a demoralizing loss the previous week, and they also lost the week before that. I just don't know if I can envision the Rams losing three consecutive games. I mean, this is still the NFC. Uh, defending champ, the defending NFC champions, the Rams have allowed 85 points in the last two weeks. And they also, you look at what Aaron Donald, I mean, what has happened with him? He has one sack in the season, like 13 tackles. I expect him to play a little bit better in this game. And I like the Rams to get to end their losing streak because this is a must game for them. They are at home. So I'm going to take the Rams to win this one at home. Now the next game, I'm going to take Arizona to win uh, at home against the Atlanta Falcons. Now, Arizona, I mean, right now, these two teams are both going nowhere, but Arizona has a little swagger after getting that win uh, the previous week. Uh, they're averaging 20 points per game. Atlanta is only is averaging about the same. They're about the same offensively. Arizona's at home. Atlanta comes off a terrible, deplorable defensive performance last week, giving up 53 points and nearly 600 yards to Houston. 
Uh, they only have five defensive sacks at land. I think they're going to have trouble getting to the Arizona quarterback and also have trouble obtaining a victory in this game. So I'm going to take Arizona to win this one at home. Now the next game, I mean, reluctantly again, I'm going to take the Tennessee Titans to win on the road against the Denver Broncos. Tennessee right now is about could very well be the most enigmatic football team. They win when you don't expect them to win. They lose the games you think they should win. Mariota, though, has been sacked 22 times this season, but Tennessee has played well on the road. They're 2-1 on the road. Their scoring defense is very good. Denver won for the first time in like eight or nine games last week. I don't know if they can get the consecutive victories, but you look at um, Von Miller, it's got to have a big game for, in order for them to have any opportunity to win. Uh, but I just don't think it's going to get uh, done in this particular in this particular match. And Denver won a close game against the Chargers last week. And for them to get consecutive wins, I mean, seeing is believing, but we'll see. And I'm going to take the Titans to win this one. Uh, on the road. I think I like their defense a little bit better than Denver's right now. So anyway, well, next game, I'm going to take Dallas on the road to defeat the New York Jets. I mean, this, this didn't really require a lot of pondering and overabundance or certified of analysis. Dallas right now, um, they did not play well last week against the Green Bay Packers. I think Green Bay is basically Dallas's kryptonite, uh, but Dallas is still number six in rushing yards per game. They're averaging about 26 points per game. I think Amari uh, Toomer is going to cause havoc and some problems for the Jets secondary. The Jets right now are only averaging about 10 points per game. They only had 61 yards passing last week. This is a team in disarray. Uh, they are a team right now, but the only thing going for them is their run defense. They're, they're giving up about, eight, about 87 and a half yards per game right now, but the Jets have lost eight consecutive games. They have a propensity to lose. They just lose in manifold ways, and it doesn't matter. They're, they're still, they're gonna, they got sacked 10 times last week. Their offensive line uh, looked atrocious. This is a team right now that hardly has anything going for them in Dallas right now. Uh, they're lamenting off uh, as far as they're, they're lamenting over that loss to Green Bay. And, you know, you don't want to really play a Dallas team with Ezekiel Elliott uh, and Amari Toomer if they're angry. And I think Dallas right now shouldn't get this victory. Uh, the Jets are just hapless and hopeless, sadly. I'm a New York Jets fan. I don't want to say derogatory things about it, but they are just there. There's really no hope for them at this point. Um, this season is gone. And, uh, Sam Darnold, who knows when he's going to come back. So I'm going to take Dallas on the road. Now the next, I'm going to take the Chargers at home to defeat the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Chargers right now, um, they're a team that obviously, I mean, they have any super C expect expectations. They haven't even met them. But Philip Rivers and, and their receivers, they have to get things going. They've lost three or four games. How long is this going to continue? But Pittsburgh right now is down to their third string quarterback. I, I really don't see them going into Los Angeles and winning this game. They're only, um, they're, they're averaging only 67 rushing yards per game. You're not going to be able to run the football against the Chargers. You can't. It's going to be hard to win. Um, I think right now, looking at this, is that Chargers being at home and the fact that the Pittsburgh Steelers are just, I mean, they're just so depleted and losing, of course, Levine Bell and Antonio Brown has been to their detriment big time. Uh, I think, I mean, this particular game, the Chargers, if they can't win this game, they're going to have trouble winning uh, the rest of the season. This is their game for the taking. I like the Chargers at home. Last but not least, I'm going to take the Green Bay Packers to win at home over the Detroit Lions. Green Bay right now, uh, they have some swagger. They held Ezekiel Elliott. Uh, last week to like 62 yards uh, rushing, which seems preposterous to hold a running an elite running back like that to that few uh, amount of yards. Green Bay right now, their defense is what's very uh, bewildering. The fact that they're uh, playing so well, the defense is only giving up 18.6 points per game. Uh, Green Bay is also going to be seeking retribution against the Lions. The Lions right now, though trending upward, I mean, they. Uh, this is a team right now has got to I mean Detroit has beaten Green Bay four consecutive times. How many more times in a row can they beat them? They have to go on the road against Green Bay team, healthy Aaron Rodgers. I just think, I mean, despite Detroit playing well, and I understand the only loss Detroit has a season was a four-point loss to Kansas City. 
but it really, but this is a time right now where Green Bay is playing lights out. They are at home. Detroit will make it competitive, but I think uh, in this particular game, uh, it's going to be hard to go into um, Green Bay and defeat uh, the Packers, considering the way their def the Packers defense is playing. And right now, I mean, Green Bay certainly doesn't want to lose a fifth consecutive game to their rivals to, to Detroit. And Green Bay is at home. Again, Detroit has to go on the road. Uh, I like Green Bay to take this one at home. So anyway, people, that will conclude this YouTube NFL prediction segment. And until next time, people, Edwin Leonard saying stay well.